assessment it is nothing but what is the value of your asset what is the value of your income what is the value of your property we have to assess so that is called assessment procedure if income tax officer feels that you have not done properly they will give you notice and give you certain time within that you are supposed to submit everything that is called assessment in case of search A warm welcome to one and all. This is your other sir here, lecturing with us from First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are discussing your income tax to your fourth sem, Unit Six, as your session two. Session two, we are discussing your assessment procedure. As I told you, your Unit Six, we have two topics. One will be your assessment procedure. One more is your income tax authority. We done with your income tax authority, and we are discussing the topic called assessment procedure. Now, what do you mean by assessment procedure? What are the types we have under assessment procedure? Each and everything we will discuss in today's session. So it is a small session all about the theory topic. Meaning, the assessment procedure is an instruction and contains exact statement for each individual assessment physically the assessment procedure can be maintained for these objective object to be assessed together with the corresponding assessment assessment specification now these are the meaning you are supposed to write if it is what is assessment procedure but in examination they will not ask you what is assessment procedure they will ask you the types of assessment procedure now an assessment is defined as a declaration of the value of property often for the tax purpose and example of assessment in your written document with the appraisal amount of your home an example of assessment is the amount of money that you must pay in the tax in tax for your land like assessment it is nothing but what is the value of your asset what is the value of your income what is the value of your property we have to assess so that is called assessment procedure in this like calculating your income for example whatever my salary whatever my tuition income whatever my other income all the income i should sit and calculate i should assess that i i should calculate that that is called assessment what are the procedures what are the types we have in the assessment we'll go for that types of income tax assessment in this we have self assessment summary assessment scrutiny best judgment protective reassessment and the last one assessment in the case of search these are the assessment given by income tax office like self assessment summary scrutiny best judgment protective reassessment and the last assessment in case of search these are the assessment will go one by one self assessment self assessment means what just i told you whatever is my income i sit and calculate i'll declare to the government income tax office these are my income i am supposed to pay tax on these income that is called self assessment so nobody will come and check they may come but later at a time of declaration everything is done by yourself i'll give you simple example you have written your exam on your own you are writing your final examination your final examination is called as self assessment you are only return after writing what you will do i'll tell you you only calculate you only check how much marks you will get what you will do you will check and you will put you will put out of 80 i got 65 marks this is what self assessment nobody corrected your paper yourself you are corrected your paper after correcting how much you planned you are planned like you will get 65 you will get 70 that is called self assessment once if you are written exam you will think yourself that i may get 70 i may get 75 i may get 65 all this called as self assessment now there is a type of income tax assessment in which the assessee calculates the tax themselves usually accompanied by the payment of amount they believed in due 
After taking TDS and subtracting advanced tax paid, tax payable is required to be given under section 139. While calculating your tax, always remember you are supposed to minus what? You are supposed to minus your required one. If there are any advanced tax, if there are any TDS is there, you are supposed to minus that. That is called self-assessment. Hope you are clear. Yes. The second one, summary assessment. The assessment under section 143, similar to the initial review of tax return, the taxpayer receives an intimation from the IRS under this section. The department will send you a comparative income tax calculation. The overall income or loss incurred is computed in the income tax assessment. Like whatever income you have uploaded, like whatever the income you have uploaded, according to that, based on that, the summary assessment will be done by income tax office. They will send you how much tax you are supposed to pay. That is called summary assessment. Like this, you may ask five mark, any one. What is self-assessment? What do you mean by summary assessment? Next, file your ITR now. Like, say a scrutiny assessment now. So ITR means what? Your income tax return. You have to file. Scrutiny means very simple. I'll give you best example like you have done your self-assessment. You calculated your tax payable is 40,000. You paid your 40,000 tax. Everything is done. After two years, somebody complained on against you. Some XYZ complained against you. This person has paid less tax. These are the complaints given by somebody else. Then what income tax people will do? Income tax people will call you. They will scrutinize. They will ask all the documents. You have to bring all the documents to the department. That is called scrutiny. Scrutinize everything is called a scrutiny. Now, assessment is an assessment of your return filed by the SSE by providing an opportunity for the SSE to support the declared income and expenses as well as claims of deduction, losses, exemption and so on in the return using proof. They ask for proof. So self-assessment, you go and say this is my tax payable but scrutiny, you have to show the proof. How, how you have earned this much income? What is the proof? Where you have earned? What are the sources? Everything you are supposed to inform. Next, uh, in this, the continuation of your scrutiny, the committee managers in using a single work plan, the committee undertakes specific work as well as forming informal panel. Like they will send somebody, that person will scrutinize, they, he will check everything. The assessing officer is given the chance to conduct an investigation. Like one assessing officer will be there, he will come and investigate. Now, the next, in case of any omission, contradiction, like inaccuracies, like if you have done any mistakes, then what happens? Errors. Then there may be chances of prepares his or her own assessment of the SSE, taking into account all the relevant circumstances. You are supposed to pay penalty. You are supposed to pay fines in case of any wrong assessment. Then types of income, like in this, Best judged assessment. This is very important. Many times they have asked for five marks. Like the term best judgment assessment refers to assessing officer opinion or calculation of the assessee income in the context of income tax law. Like in the situation of best judgment assessment, the evaluating officer will make the decision based on the best reasoning that is they will not be dishonest. The assessee will not be dishonest in his or her assessment, nor will be or she will be hostile to the officer. Like, they will ask for the proof whether whatever the uh, assessment you have done, whether it is true or not. If it is true, they are okay. If it is not true, you have to bow to them. Like, you are supposed to do whatever they say, like how much penalty, what is the fine, everything you are supposed to pay. Protective assessment, your fifth one. There is a type of assessment that focuses on those that are made to protect the revenue interest. Like, whatever the revenue income tax has to be collected, 
they protect that they will not miss out how the income tax legislation however has no provision for the imposition of income tax on any one other than the person to whom it is due it is open to the authority to undertake the protective or alternative assessment if it is unclear who among a few probable person is actually liable to pay the tax these are called as protective assessment and we'll go for the next one you are supposed to pay penalty if it is not correct reassessment very simple you have done assessment and later you feel that i have to correct that uh, whatever the assessment i have given that is wrong i have to do reassess certain charges are there you are supposed to pay if you pay that certain charges you will be given permission to reassess by mistake instead of paying 40000 tax you paid only 30000 you have showed only your income less again you can apply for income tax i should reassess you can go for that now if the assessing officer has reason to think that income liable to tax has escaped assessment for any assessment year they will conduct an income escaping assessment if you are done wrong or mistake you will be given chance to do reassessment yeah assessment in case of search the assessing officer will do the following in this type of income like giving such person notice required furnishing it within a time frame mentioned in the notice like if income tax officer feels that you have not done properly they will give you notice and give you certain time within that you are supposed to submit everything that is called assessment in case of search so this can be done up to how much six assessment year remember that point so these are the assessment procedures i'll show you all the slides you can take screenshot so these are the meaning of your assessment procedure your types of income tax assessment again types your types your types types of income tax assessment your types fourth type fifth type your fifth type your sixth type of assessment your sixth type your last type called seventh type so this is all about your today's session so with this we completed as well as concluded your topic called income tax 2 thank you